Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I brought you a collaboration with a company called uh, Cozy Owl. Pop their website link in the description box below so you can browse around. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited because um, as you probably, some of you know, I introduced my candle line a few months ago and I haven't really had a chance um to create more upcoming fragrances but it is definitely a project i'm going to look into very very soon and um, it's actually received a lot of attention so i was very excited about that but at the moment i had to pull on hold because there were things happening but yeah that's definitely something i will be carrying on very soon anyway back to the today's project so i'm gonna show you guys what i actually received um so you can see as well so you will know what we actually playing around with today so we're gonna make two different candles container candles and pillow candles so obviously they do require different waxes so this is the container wax so this is the newest lounge that is arriving to cozy owl very very soon um so this is one of the waxes that we will be using today it is contains 800 um, gram of wax so this is the container one then we have here the pillar blend yes yeah, so the melt and pillar blend so this is the one you can use for wax melts pillar candles and all that sort of goodies um then we got here our leaves so you can make melts with these you can also use for chocolate bonbons and all that sort of stuff so i have some very good ideas with it i think good ideas <laughs> then we got two fragrance oils um so because it's still very cold outside and um, i picked very wintry very cozy uh fragrances cracker uh, cracker not cracker oh my god this word <laughs> so not cracker fragrance oil and um, we got some wicks right here um okay so the thing is I don't have a different wick it looks like um for the container wax um so it looks like i don't actually have a, a different wick that you use for pillar candles so these these wicks they actually for container candles and you don't really tend to use these um if you're making a pillar candle but we will try to figure out or maybe i will uh, get mine so we got some containers oh they're so fluffy are they all the same we're just double checking here mm -hmm. they call the current um glasses um container glasses that you can use for candles these are actually the one that i use for my own candle um the bigger size one not these ones but what well, we got four of these we got some dye here so we got light brown candle dye and we got a dark brown candle dye so i think we're going to be using white um in the container glass um and we might be playing around with these colors and actually pillar candles so i got some molds here that we're gonna be using we can make um actually bubble candle um then i also have these pillar candles so we will see what we're actually gonna be using for and my kitchen going to smell amazing but also i'm like oh my god we're gonna make a massive mess so we're not gonna be using my bigger one i have a side over here um uh flat up here so this is what we're gonna be doing a double boil and do all the candles so let's get started so in today's video guys i'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide how you can make candles at home the first thing to do is melting the wax create a double boil which means pour water into a pan Bring it to the boil. While this actually happening, measure your wax. Let me tell you a little bit about this Soya Luna wax. 
So this brand is actually arriving, introducing to Cozy Owl very, very soon. I believe it is going to be end of this month. Soya Luna Wax is actually a soy blend and it has been specifically formulated to be an easy use soy wax for home candle makers. Which means that this blend has been created for an easy one pour finish. Now we are going to actually measure uh, the wax and calculate the fragrance soil. For this, there is plenty of different websites online. I will pop you in the description box below the one I actually use from Candle Check. The containers that I'm using today for my container candles from Cozy Owl, they are 200 gram, which means the wax requirement is 180 gram. I'm going to use a 10% of fragrance soil, which is 20 gram. The requirement is 180 gram of wax, which I'm going to double it because I'm use making actually two candles. So I'm using 360 gram of wax. So once you actually measured your wax, heat your wax to 70 celsius degree while stirring gently. Do not exceed 80 celsius. It only takes about 10 to 15 minutes to the wax to melt. Now step 2. Prepare the glasses. The wax is melting, wash the candle glasses in hot water, ensure there are no foreign objects inside the glasses and they fully dry. Step 3. Prepare the wicks. Attach your wicks using a stick homes to the bottom of your wick, then place the wick firmly in the center of your glass. Alternatively, you can attach your wick with wax. Carefully dip the wick sustainer into the molten wax, place the wick firmly in the center of your glass and allow to the wax to set the wick in place. Once your wax fully melted, which means it reached 70 celsius degree, you take it from the double boil, let it cool, keep stirring it and make sure it reaches to 70% when you're adding the color and about 65 celsius degree when adding the fragrance. So as we calculated earlier, we're using a 10% fragrance oil, which means for each candle, we're using 20 gram. Now I measured 40 gram of fragrance oil, add it to my wax and stirring it nicely. pouring time. Now all your ingredients are mixed and your wax is on 65 degrees celsius, it's time to pour the wax. Pouring the wax with the soya luna wax means it's a one-time pour, which means you pour the candle up until the top as you wish in the container and let it set. I'm leaving about one centimeter from the top of the glass top. Now that our container glasses are done and setting on the side, what I'm going to do is make some melting wax. So all you need to do is switch the wax from a container wax for a pillar melting wax. And repeat the previous process I mentioned, melting the wax, adding the fragrances and pour it into the mold. Now we are going to make a pillar candle. 
The process is super simple. You're just following the step-by-step -step guide I mentioned previously. We are going to make a bigger batch of candles, which means we're measuring a higher amount of candle wax. I'm going to use some silicone molds and some plastic molds to see what the difference lies. I'm also going to add the dye into this wax. As I'm going to dye the pillar candles, there is an extra step that we need to follow in this process. As you remember, adding the fragrances to your candle, it needs to reach 65 degrees Celsius. Now, just before adding the fragrances, you're adding the color. The wax needs to reach 70 degrees Celsius, which means once your entire pot melted, you can add the candle dye. You just need to stir gently until all the colors have dissolved and spread evenly. I suggest using around 0.2% of candle dye, therefore a 10 gram bag of dye will color about 5 kg of wax. I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial how to make candles at home and I really hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!